You know, one of the questions we get this time of year is, how do I pick the right instrument for my beginning band student? And how do we know we're making the right decision? Well, the short answer is you don't, but we can give you some tips, some suggestions, and some considerations to make when choosing that instrument. Now, I wanna start out by saying that this is not a replacement for a conversation with your student's band director. Your student's band director has spent time with your student. They've let them try the instruments or buzz the mouthpiece. Uh, they'll let them hold the instruments. They've demonstrated what those instruments sound like and their role in the band. And so they've got some uh, great insight into what will be a good fit for your student. So that said, here are some considerations to make. The first and foremost of those is simply, what does your student want to play? You know, if your student has been talking about the trumpet since they were in third grade and here they are beginning band fifth or sixth grade and they still are talking about the trumpet, I would probably lean towards the trumpet for them. Uh, that enthusiasm for an instrument and excitement is gonna lead to more consistent practice and consistent practice is a key to success on any instrument. So that's the first consideration is what does your student desire to play? Uh, beyond that, there are certain physical attributes that lend themselves to some instruments. Now. Any of these things I talk about when it comes to physical attributes, they are things that can be overcome. So they're just considerations. It doesn't bar someone from playing an instrument. Uh, so let's start out with the mouth and lip shape. So uh, let's say they're considering a brass wind instrument and they have uh, thinner lips. Uh, well, then a trumpet or a French horn might be a good choice. The lips have to go inside the cup of the mouthpiece and make that buzzing noise. Smaller mouthpiece, thinner lips are gonna be a better fit. If they have a fuller mouth and fuller lips, then you might want to consider something like a baritone or trombone. The mouthpiece is much larger, and so it's a lot easier to get uh, those fuller lips inside that mouthpiece to make that buzzing noise. Now, speaking of brass winds, any of the brass winds, when you play them, it puts pressure on the lips, and that means the back side of the lips are going to come in contact with the teeth. So if your student has braces or is going to get braces, that can cause some discomfort. Now again, it's nothing that can't be overcome. There are waxes and prosthetics available from your orthodontist that can help lessen that discomfort. It's just a consideration to make. Uh, the stature of your student can make a difference. Uh, let's say they have very small, thin fingers. That might be an issue with, say, a clarinet. There are certain keys on a clarinet that have to be covered completely with the finger. And if your student's fingers are too small to, to cover those holes, uh, that can cause some difficulty in playing. Likewise, if they have very small hands or short fingers, saxophone can be an issue. There are certain keys, we call them the palm keys because they're touched by the palm when you want to play them. But the downside to that is you can't touch them with your palm when you're playing the other notes. So they need to have a little bit longer fingers so they can reach around those palm keys. Likewise, if they have short arms, very short stature, uh, then maybe trombone might not be the best choice. You have to be able to reach out to that last position on the slide and so a shorter stature uh, might be a difficulty with that. If they're very small, generally overall, uh, you know, if your student's the size of a third grader and now they're in fifth or sixth grade, uh, a tuba might not be the best choice. They need to be comfortable holding that instrument. So those are all physical considerations. So let's talk about uh, changing instruments. Uh, you've made the wrong choice and they thought they'd love the trumpet, but uh, now they got to get braces and they can't handle that, uh, that discomfort uh, or whatever the case might be and you need to change instruments. Well, first thing I want you to do is talk to your band director. You know, sometimes that desire to change instruments uh, is really because they've reached a point of frustration. There's a note they can't hit and so they think that they're failed at that instrument and need to change. Uh, usually that's not the case. There's always a frustration when learning an instrument. On clarinets, it's getting past what we call the break. On trumpets, it's hitting a high note. On saxophone, it's some of the low notes. Uh, those are all just part of the learning curve on any new skill. And so talk to the director and sometimes some one-on-one -on -one time with your student and the director, and they can get over that hurdle that is making them want to change instruments in the first place. Now, beyond that, you've done that, and uh, nope, we really need to change instruments is the final decision that you made. Well, here's my sales pitch. If you're part of the Yana's Easy Rent program, we make that super simple for you. Uh, if let's say you started the clarinet and now your student wants to switch to flute, you simply bring in the clarinet, uh, we give you a flute and we just adjust that monthly payment and you're good to go. There's no fee or uh, no penalty for doing that. Uh, so we make that a very simple process. So there you go, some tips and tricks and considerations to make when choosing the instrument for your beginning band student. 
Now, if you still have questions, give us a call, 308-234-1970. Stop by any of our locations in Kearney, Grand Island, Ogallala. Uh, you know, we gauge our success on the success of your students. So if your student's successful, we consider it a success on our part. And so we want to give you the best advice we possibly can to make that selection.